The government hires tens of thousands of full-time federal permanent civilian service employees each year. And it does so despite the fact that the size of the federal government of permanent civilian workforce has shrunk in the past few years. But even during this period of downsizing, the government was and is always doing a lot of hiring to replace employees who've either resigned or retired, as well as to new staff initiatives ordered by Congress. In light of the fact that the federal employees with the news swirling around right now, with some departmental exceptions, may be mandated to prove that they have or to be tested for the COVID vaccination, might be time to explore to work with the federal government. It simply makes America safe again. Let me be the first to say that I know that forcing people to undertake a medical procedure is not the American way. Perspective is everything when you're looking for a job. One man's burden is another man's pleasure. Lemons out of lemonade. One door opens, another one closes. To have or to have not. I'm sorry, I digress. My point here is that perspective is everything. Reference is how we shape our choices and make our decisions. Understand there will be federal employees who will resign or retire early on the basis of the mandate that they do not want to comply with. Many of those hired work in mid-grade, GS-8, GS-9 level, or earlier. Therefore, while you may have desires to be a GS-15 or SEC position... Well, that was a major slip-up. It's S-E-S, not S-E-C. Come on, people. That's an admiral level. Let's look at where you might fit in. Your first realistic objective should be to obtain a position in an entry level, the opportunity to get your foot in the door. Boop. Excuse me. Since the early 2000s, a great deal of federal recruitment today is done through the internet. The technology of the internet has resulted in the revamping of the way the public and the non-public sectors hire. While it was extremely difficult in the past to find out about a federal job and to apply for it, it was a stack of papers Job opportunities today are easily accessible. Job seekers can sit at a computer anywhere in the world and or any place in the house and log into www.usajobs.gov. And within minutes, you're on. And in USA Jobs, without exception, most every job that's open in the federal government is right there and the public can apply. On USA Jobs, you can find the text and the actual posting of the position online as well. The text will describe the details of the duties of the position, state the qualifications required, and explain the standards the agency will use to evaluate your, your skill sets. I can remember, hey, I'm not the only one out there. I can remember when it was the internet, and, it, and the internet was used to post positions for internal employees who sought advancement or who were about to lose their job and looking for other opportunities. Things have definitely changed now. USA Jobs is the primary. It's the on, probably pretty much the only source that the government uses in its hiring process. Through it, individual agencies are able to publicize the availability of their positions throughout the world. Don't be fooled by ones that say that they have federal jobs and they're only attempting to acquire your information to sell it or misuse USA it. USA Jobs is the only federal government official site. I'm pretty sure. But yeah, it is. We're going to run with that. Yeah, it is. Here's the receipt. <laughs> I'm a genius. USAjobs.gov. That's it. Using the internet for a job search is time efficient. It's a way to look at multiple jobs and multiple postings all over the world. However, online job searching requires a considerable amount of time, especially the federal government. Expect to take time. Remember I told you about the Veterans Walk-In Center. We had it open every day for four hours. I expected those guys to come in, and gals, I'm sorry, to come in three or four times a week, spending three or four hours grinding on the process. I expect it of you too. Expect it of yourself. It's not an easy process, but I'm going to get you prepared. And as always, I'm going to give you a hack. Subscribe. That's my point there. You have to spend the time searching jobs, searching duties, 
and customizing your resume in order to fill out applications, it takes time. View what work you're looking for on a daily basis. Spend some time finding jobs, going through your resume, and filling out applications. It all takes time. Make looking for work your job until employment is found. Explore and experiment, no matter if it's a federal job or civilian, which is how I gained my expertise and how I got my foot in the door. Experiment with different keywords in your search. Explore the many other tools on job searches, sites that are available. Read books, articles about your job hunting, your career field. Here's my personal hack. Rather than looking for a specific type of job, search all the jobs listed in your potential area. That way, you don't miss what you might be qualified for. My philosophy is don't you say no to the job, let them tell you no to the job. So you look for whatever is out there and you apply for where your qualifications fit. Well, looky here, I'm giving you two hacks for one video. Don't wait until you find the job of your dreams to upload your documents. Don't wait. Guys, it is absolutely foolish for you to wait to register for selective service until you apply for a federal job. You got to do it when you're 18. Get it done. They're going to ask you. Upload your college transcripts, not just your diploma, your SF-50, your DD-214, your re redacted, your disability award letter, your Schedule A. Check to see first if your school was accredited. The feds know which ones were. Do you? Education must be accredited by the U.S. Department of Education, where you can check. Failure to provide all of the required information as stated in the vacancy announcement may result in an ineligible rating or may affect the overall rating. Listen to me. While the job announcement may not state a form is required, if you are applying as a person with a disability, a veteran, a disabled veteran, or otherwise, the SF-15 and verifiable documentation is required as an expectation of the specified preference. Do not post selfies. This is not that website or professional pictures of yourself, no matter how distinguished you may feel they are. There's always that chance of a slip up and you're posting something you don't really want to be seen. Now, I know some of the jobs aren't gonna say that you have to have it, but why wait till the job says that you have to have it to fill it out or even look for it for the first time, then fill it out. Be prepared, any of you that have already been on USA Jobs to see, you'll see that some of the jobs are posted for 10 days, some of them in advance for months, but there are a lot of them that are only open for three days. You're not gonna be able to look for the documents, fill out the documents and get it correctly in three days. Trust me, you won't. Be prepared. I cannot stress it enough. Applying for the job on the internet, even for a career federal worker, you must anticipate a learning curve. Back in the day, the hiring process revolved around who you know. No, it's not like that anymore. It's what you know, and you have to be able to prove it, which is why I said, I emphasize, upload your transcripts, not just your diploma. They wanna see those classes. And like I said, all roads lead back to social security number, all roads lead to the um, security clearance. You're going to have to list where you went to school and they're going to ask for those transcripts. Trust me. Really, trust me. If you have questions about the content I'm providing here or you want some content that you haven't seen listed, like I said, I'm just getting started. And there's a few videos that will be coming out hopefully each week. It's a churn here, but it's definitely worth it. In the comment section, let me know what you think. Let me know what you need. And we'll be here for you. And when I say we, I'm, we're building up. We're building up. We're building up. And you're a part of the we. And I thank you for it. I'm telling you the pictures that I've seen. I don't care how feminine you got. I, I, just don't do it. No, don't uniform, no glamour shots, none of that. Just don't. No pictures.